Hey guys, today we're watching Once Upon a Time Season 5, Episode 9. Uh, the Bear King. I'm assuming this is about Merida and her story, and specifically King Farius, her father. And so, last episode we found out that there are not only one, but two dark ones now. Hook has been made into dark one. For all intents and purposes, that is not a good thing. No, no matter how much Emma thought she was doing the right thing by saving his life in Camelot, uh, I think this decision will be will turn out to have been not a very good one. I can imagine him doing a lot of lot of damage. And I think it's quite strange that there was no indication of his of his um, high beat darkness when he came back from the Camelot. I, I don't think there was any indication of that. But now that he knows, all of a sudden, now he can be the Dark One. I don't understand how that works. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Let's go. Giddy, what dark past does he have? You're a witch? Perhaps I babble with magic. Good. Because I need some. Invaders are attacking from the south. If I'm to lead the clans to victory over them, I'm gonna need some magic. Hmm. Something to stop invaders from the south. Something to ensure the future of my kingdom. Yes. Think that's a good idea? I can help you. Are we sure? Very well. It's a good idea to... Oh, we have ourselves a deal. Did he even read it? Did you forget to invite me, dear? What are you doing here, witch? Is this about the magic I took? No, I'm here because of another happy customer of mine. King Fergus. Lies, my father would never stoop so low. He did not stoop, except to get through the door. But he did come for magic. An enchanted helm, to be exact. One that glistens like the sun. Merida, I'm afraid that is your father's mark. Unfortunately, King Fergus died before he could pay me what he owed. Um, with an interest, 10,000 gold skirts. What does she want? You won't find the helm here. I will if you help me Not look. Besides, Check that sideboard. No, money. you won't find it because it's not here. But I doubt she I packed that helm and Dad's dropped myself when we left to fight the southern invaders. So she needs the helm for something. I mean, he was swearing at when he was killed. So I hired a soldier to tutor you in the art of war. Well, you think I need a man to babysit me? To teach me how to fight? I'll show you. You run. You may not need a man to teach you how to fight. But you can learn a thing or two from me. <laughs> I'm Mulan. Merida. <laughs> I'll teach you how to fight better than any man here. I'll teach you the most important thing you need to have to fight. Honor. I ship it. You don't get it, do you? 
This is the arrow I fired on that day, the one that just missed my father's killer. But you didn't miss his cloak. We can use this to find him. I've got to make him pay for what he did to my dad. Morning on your own time. We're wasting daylight. Let's go. What happened to you, Mulan? What do you mean? You knew Fergus too, but you're acting like you, like you never even met the man. Have you already forgotten our deal? No, I remember. But what kind of friend would I be if I stuck to it? Why have you closed off your heart like this? There's one lesson I didn't teach you the last time we were here. A true warrior doesn't let anything hurt them. Not bad. Next lesson, you never leave a flank open. Oh, I didn't. I just wanted you to think I had. You're learning. Someone's coming. That's a clever little trick. They're not clever enough. Oh, come now. You wouldn't attack a mother to be now, would you? Arthur, what are you doing here? I'm not going back to your dungeon if that's what you're thinking. You really think I come all the way to this wretched place just to drag you back to Camelot? We're here for something else, dear. Your father's helm. Oh, you, the witch? Why does everybody want that bloody helmet? It's the only way I'll ever save my kingdom. So it's the witch threatening to turn your people into bears, too? You don't even know what the helm does, do you? It has the power to make other men fight your battles, however dangerous they may be. Are you lying? That can't be. It is. And it's the only way I'll ever get my knights to stand up to Merlin and the Dark One. No. My dad would never use magic to force people to fight for him. Oh, apparently Daddy Dearest wasn't the great king that you thought he was. Right. That belonged to my father! I know. And with the simple locator spell, it'll lead us to another one of his possessions. The helm. No, 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 you cannot give up like this. Why not? You have. Or is there another reason you're out here working for the highest bidder? What is it, daughter? I can tell something's on your mind. Mulan's a right good teacher. There's one thing she can't teach me about leading this army. What might that be? How to inspire the clans to follow me into battle. How do you do it? How have you inspired all these men to follow you into battle? Especially when so many of them know they're gonna die. Dad. Is everything all right? Aye. There's only one way to get men to follow you into a deadly battle. And that's by showing them you're the first one willing to die. Because if their king is willing to lay down his life, they know just how important winning the battle is. You're not a wolf. You just need a little help remembering who you are. We got back to Storybrooke. I feel like I haven't been in. And at first I thought it was because of the curse, but now that it's been broken, I... Because you're the only one of your kind here. Maybe. I don't know. I... Yeah, probably. I just, I want to find more people like me. So I've been helping Tiny work on his burnt-out fields back when we thought we were going to have to escape Zelina, and we haven't had much luck, but we did manage to grow this.
You want to go back to the Enchanted Forest? Please don't try to stop me. I know you think I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. I think you need to do what makes you happy. Really? You are my friend. What else could I possibly want for you? It doesn't mean I'm not going to miss you. Not as much as I'll miss you. If you can find the helm before the witch's deadline, the crown is yours. Don't hand it over just yet. You're right, Merida. I gave up, and I was wrong. But so are you. We're gonna find the night that Manfred is through. I brought a friend. I'm gonna sniff him out. That's a lot of testosterone. What does the helmet actually do though? Does it force people to fight your battles? Dundroch's bow says it is. <laughs> Lady of Delay. When will you learn to stop doubting me, dear? That doesn't belong to you. Oh, you don't know when to give up. Where is he? Where's the man who killed my dad? That's him. He killed Fergus. His scent is all over this cloak. You. You're the one. I led my knights on a quest to find the missing piece of Excalibur. We heard rumor of magic in these lands, so I landed here in the hopes I could finally complete my sword. So it's true. You killed my father. A knight does what he must on the battlefield. You're gonna get yourself killed. Mm -hmm. She isn't the only one. This isn't about revenge. This is about you finding the helm and saving your people. But if you're the one who killed my dad, why don't you have the helm? I saw you take it off him with my own eyes. Because the helm Fergus was wearing when he died wasn't enchanted. What? It was a piece of iron polished to a shine. When I put it on to rally my men, it didn't do anything. Thank you. We lost the battle. Dad must have thrown the helm he got from the witch into the sea before the battle began. And you know what this means, right? He didn't use magic to lead the troops into battle. They followed him because they believed in him. Oh, as touching as this family drama is, we need the helm. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to stop you from leaving them broke with it. My people are tempting on me. And so are mine. I've already killed Dunbrook's king. Now it looks like I'll have to kill its queen. Please kick his ass. You have no idea the dark path you sent me down. I've been down plenty of my own. It's the burden of wearing a crown. I blame myself for my dad's death when I really should have blamed you. I'm not just gonna keep you from getting now. I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to him. Don't take another step. This isn't your battle. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? You don't scare me. Oh, that offender. <laughs> Sleeping powder. Clover. She used it on me. How do you like it now, witch? Uh -huh. Hurry, it won't last long. Excalibur and fulfill my destiny as Camelot's king. Reach for it, and I will cut you down just like your father. Make another move, and you look like a porcupine. 
<laughs> this time one of those arrows is bound to hit more than just your cloak. Oh, where's that bloody witch when I need her? She's sleeping on the job. Even your magic can't stop all these arrows. Seems we need to find some other means of retrieving Excalibur. Yes. Yeah. But perhaps that's a discussion best had in Camelot. for you we couldn't let our queen fall if you're not fit to lead the clans no one is oh no presenting queen merida of dunbroch leader of the clans protector of the highlands and my yeah, daughter. Gonna have Merida and what's his face with the pets? Fall in love, are they? The sun's nearly set. Unless you want to rule over a kingdom of bears, you'd better have me home. Oh, I have it. But I'm not going to hand it over to you. I'm going to destroy it. Are you sure that's wise? Dear? Yes. Merida, I know what I'm doing, Mother. No one should have the power to lead people into a fight they don't believe in. I'll find a way to stop your curse, but I am not going to be bullied into giving this back. I was hoping you'd say that. What now? This was never about the helm, dear. This was about you. You mean this was all a test? King Fergus came to me asking for magic to ensure the future of his kingdom. And that's exactly what I gave... What's that? Magical ale. You know the legend of Sinead, don't you, dear? Aye. Is it true? Indeed. One cup of this can summon the spirit of anyone who's passed through the underworld. You mean I can talk to my dad? Thank you. Well, if you must know, I was trying to get over a broken heart. I waited too long to tell someone how I felt about them. And when I finally worked with courage, it was too late. I'm sorry, Mila. Is she? You know, I might not be the best person to ask for dating advice. I kind of ate the only boyfriend I've ever had. Yes, I think that disqualifies you. But maybe I can oh, help. Ruby. Come with me. It might do you some good. Searching for werewolves. It's better than wallowing in self-pity. <laughs> I don't wallow. <laughs> you do a little bit. Look, maybe helping someone else find their path will help you with yours. Thank you. Scalp uh, pals. Don't waste that. <laughs> it's good ale. Dad. After I spoke to you, I realized if I wanted to show you what it took to be a leader, couldn't use magic to do it. Hi. You showed me what a true leader is. And I will never forget that. I just want to make you proud, Dad. You already have. Mm -hmm. Me too. Oh. Damn it, Merida. Arthur! You have no idea what's coming for you. Oh, you're gonna die. Great episode. I love it. I was really worried they were going to have King Fergus 
kind of claimed that his leadership skills were only because he had a magical object and not because he was a good king. I was really relieved when they flipped that on its head. And yeah. Well, we didn't see anything about new Dargon Killian yet. We have still we have still that to look forward to. Uh, should be interesting. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.